Hello YouTube family. It has been quite a while since we have done a video. We do have some reasoning here. We have some kind of sad news to share. We um, first had exciting news. I was expecting again and not feeling very good over the last month or so. And we've just been really busy and really had a hard time making it up here to film. And then actually just this week I found out that I had miscarried again. So we're kind of been an up and down week, um, working through some emotions and, and the sadness that goes along with that. But um, we feel very, very blessed. We still have a lot of joy in life and so many things to be thankful for. We know that God is in control and we still thank him and praise him for the healthy children we have and all the wonderful things he's doing in our life. But at the same time, this is an imperfect world and we know there's gonna be grief and sadness. So lots of tears this week and we do so appreciate your prayers um, as we go through this. We're not really sure what the future will hold, but I have some appointments coming up and we'll just, we'll just see. But one, two, wow, I'm feeling like I can talk without crying. We'll talk about some of these exciting updates that you are so, so behind on at our house. Um, you can see the whole house is sided, at least all the areas that are gonna get siding. The front of the house is board and batten siding, and we'll give you a close up and explain that in a little bit. I may let Ryan explain that. And then on the front and the sides is board and batten, and then the back is, I guess that's a horizontal siding. And then our guys that are doing our timbers, they're also gonna do some in the living room on the vaulted ceiling. They were out doing the front post porch. We'll give you a close up of that. You can see there above the front door in that peak where it looks like a turkey foot. It's missing the one turkey toe. So, um, or chicken foot, whatever you want to call it. They said it wasn't sized up right or something was wrong, so they were going to remake that. But we are extremely, extremely happy with this. Like, it turned out better than what, the color than what we even thought. They, we told them what we wanted. They played with some stains, lightened it up a little bit from what we originally picked, and we just love these guys. And then on that one story bump out over there where is Ryan in my room, that's gonna get stone. And then what you see that's still green is gonna get stone. And the whole way under the porch there, we're gonna have to grade, it's not gonna be that much exposed. But under the porch there, it's gonna be stone going around. Um, and we have, our stone is delivered too. It's not real stone, but it's concrete made to look like stone. We'll give you a close up of that. Inside the house, uh, the drywall is all up. The drywall is finished and the painting began. And we'll give you some more updates as far as that goes up close and inside with some of these things. We're standing here at the front door under the peak and we wanted to give you a little bit of a view of, I don't know if this is the right verbiage, but it's like a cross timber that goes from some of the like support posts that goes back right above the front door. And then there'll be some gooseneck lighting here on either side of the front door. So we just thought putting that extra cross timber really added a nice touch. And I don't know if you want to give them a close up view. This is, is it Douglas fir they said? <laughs> this is Douglas fir. We were going to go with more of like a brown brown, like a chocolatey brown, maybe not quite that dark. And we had said we wanted it lightened up since our siding's bright white. And we had picked like a limestone sticky. We had picked like a limestone type stone to match all the limestone farmhouses around here, kind of fit in with all the farms. And we thought, oh, we have so many other light colors. Let's not go ultra dark on the timbers. So we told the guys, it's actually some Amish guys that do timber framing. They do an amazing job. I love them. Um, we told him what we wanted. He was like, yeah, I can mix and match and nailed it. Super happy with this. And here is some skids of our, they call it chiseled limestone, and it's just concrete, and they stain it somehow. And it actually looks to me like limestone. It's a little darker than Ryan's parents' house, um, but their house has been getting weathered for hundreds of years. But they even have, if you can see, I don't know on here, like yellow hues in it, which real limestone has some darker grays, some lighter grays, some yellows usually. Um, can't wait to see it up. We're so excited. And we're gonna do like a 
a gray mortar in between. We didn't want the mortar to be like super dark or pull away from the stone. We want the stone to be what's visually appealing, not the mortar. So the mortar will just blend in. And we're back here at the back of the property. Now this is the only side of the house. I said this before, but it has the lap siding or the horizontal siding. Um, our contractor actually said this was harder to put on than the board and batten because it's not like typical lap siding. Ryan will show you some samples of the siding we got. It's called, is it Everlast? Mm -hmm. Super, super thick stuff. Really high quality. We're pretty excited about it. And then there you can see at the bump out at the living room where the fireplace will go, they still have to, once the fireplace gets installed, they have to vent that and then they'll work siding around that. So you can still see some of the grip, the green zip system. And over at the door, the man door going into the garage by the air conditioning units, you can see there's a little peak already started and framed out. Um, we're gonna have a little overhang roof there and the Amish guys are working on timber posts for there too. It's going to kind of be the same idea as the peak that's above the front door. Um, and it kind of helps break up. That side of the house is very plain and big open space. So we thought that'll break that up and dress up the back of the house. Even though it's just the back, it's kind of, it's nice to make that look pretty too. So we're inside the house now, obviously. And it's not really any point taking you through the whole house and showing you just an, or finished drywall. Uh, you can clearly see it's the same house, except the drywall is on, um, and it's finished as well too. Now this room, we originally were gonna paint the whole house ourselves, and we kind of freaked out. The scaffolding, the little plank that goes across there was actually up higher. We thought we were gonna need it up on the highest bar to be able to reach the vault, and there was no way I was doing that and Ryan was even feeling a little bit nervous because it's such a thin plank to walk across to reach that highest peak was just nerve wracking. And so we had, we know a painter, he, somebody he works with, her husband paints, and we said, can you just come help us get this vaulted ceiling painted and we can do the rest. Well, he did such a good job and his price seems so reasonable and we have so much going on, we were like, Okay, you can just paint the whole house. <laughs> so, Ryan had just bought like a nice spray gun. I don't know if we'll use it for rentals or we'll sell it, but we we're like, let's just let him do it. It's whatever. Um, but I had picked out Sherwin Williams Pure White for all the walls. Now, the ceilings are going to be more matte, and then the walls are going to be satin and then our trim's going to be semi-gloss so there will be sheen differences but I was just really afraid I like the pure white I was afraid if I picked a different white either for walls or trim or vice versa one of them was going to look dingy and I did not if you pick a bright white against a lighter white or a more creamy white it ends up looking like cream so I didn't think I wanted this but I picked the same color for all the main rooms and then the bathrooms and the laundries are gonna get like a grayish with a bright white trim. So it'll be broken up a little bit. But um, the walls in this room are just primered and it's so dark in here right now because we already have painted up, taped up some of the windows. Um, the walls are just primered. It's kind of like a blue hue right now, but the ceiling, he, is, he sprayed it and ruled it twice with the pure white and it looks pretty good. But we'll come back when the lighting's better sometime and more of the house is painted. We just wanted to give you a little feel for how much the inside of the house changed. Um, yeah, I really like the color. Can't wait to see it on everything. Fun fact, there is 1146 pieces of drywall in this house. <laughs> That's what my drywall finisher told me. He said this isn't the biggest house he's ever done, but lots of drywall and lots of great work. And these aren't your standard pieces of drywall that we used. We have, you can't pick these up at Lowe's. There's 16 footers, there's 12 footers. We had a few eight footers, not totally. And there, some of them were bigger than four feet. Um, in height, that way we could 
stack them on top of each other to hit our nine foot ceiling. So you just need two pieces and not have to put a third piece at the top. So it trimmed it out really nice. Lighting's getting really poor here quickly on us, but this is our downstairs laundry room. And I think we showed this in a previous video where Ryan was putting these support brackets up on the studs behind the drywall. Well, now you can see what it looks like with the drywall showing, or with the drywall completed. So we're doing floating open shelving at just a few locations in the house. And our cabinet guy is actually making it, so it'll be like a hollowed out box with the back bulk that I think they just slide over top of these. And I think, I mean, these things are like really sturdy. So I think they're heavy enough that I can even sit bottles of laundry detergent on them. Hello, we're just jumping on here to kind of end the video and give a little update. You can see back in the back of the car, there is a water heater that we went the whole way to close to North Beach, Maryland. At the Chesapeake, this one lady had it on Facebook Marketplace. We saved what like $500 yeah. <laughs> so it was new and so we drove two and a half hours today to get this water heater and went on a little date we're currently sitting in Target we have a bill to pay and we don't have the kids so we're making the most of it we went to a little restaurant today and walked the boardwalk this North Beach little like beach town sort of at the north part of the Chesapeake Bay was pretty out of it there wasn't a lot to do but it was just nice to get away and we had a good lunch and stuff we didn't really get to celebrate our anniversary this year we actually found out I guess you saw earlier on the video we found out on our anniversary on April 18th that we had lost the baby and um, we passed it at home I passed it at home I guess I should say um, so we got to see it it was hard and sad and yet just so tiny and so intricate and little arms and little legs and just no doubt that God created this little person. So we named the baby Peyton Joy. A little bit more feminine, but we tried to pick a unisex first name. Ryan actually found the name. And I said Joy for the middle name because the baby brought our family a lot of joy. But um, I'm feeling really good. Had sort of like almost a week of feeling like depressed I guess or just really sad nothing like extreme but just kind of working through the grieving process I don't know that we're completely worked through it but we still feel like we have a lot of joy and a lot to be thankful for so many blessings and I'm sure there'll be more tears ahead I'm smiling now don't let that fool you there's been a lot of tears and a lot of sad moments but we thank everyone that's been praying for us and we'll be praying so thank you and we just wanted to give a little update here and Ryan will in the next video I think be covering the siding we decided this video was long enough so he has some recordings of explaining like the nice thick siding we used and the stone is actually up right now all of it at the house so stay tuned and you'll probably get to see that in the next video so like subscribe and keep following along bye, bye.